Hey YouTube, this is the Robinhood Investor. Hope you had a great week of trading. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today I'm going to talk about five stocks I'm buying in June. First stock is Disney, ticker symbol DIS. So Disney is currently priced at $124 per share. Past year, down 9.27%. You can see it took a significant dip at the end of February, and it's been surging ever since um, optimism around reopening in past five years of 11.97%. Scrolling down a bit, you can see that market cap is $225 billion, P ratio is 42, and dividend yield is 1.74%. Scrolling down a bit, taking a look at analyst ratings, 52% give it a buy, 44% give it a hold, and 4% give it a sell. So as you know, Disney is an entertainment and media enterprise company. Um, and it took a significant dip because a lot of their parks and entertainment, uh, especially around the parks and parks experience has been on hold. Um, but some areas around the world, it's reopening, um, like Asia, Shanghai, um, and hopefully as some of the parks in the States reopen, then their revenue will increase. Now, the, what's going uh, well for Disney is they have the direct-to-consumer Disney Plus subscription platform. Um, so that has been growing uh, significantly, especially during these times. People want to watch more content, be engaged at home. So Disney, I think a lot, there's a lot of potential upside with their Disney Plus platform. And as they reopen, they'll increase the revenue around their media, uh, the parks experience and products. Next is Cisco, ticker symbol CSCO. Currently priced at $48 per share. Past year down 13.37%. Past five years up 62%. Look at the market cap, it's $222 billion. P ratio is 18.98, and dividend yield is a solid 3.01%. Taking a look at analyst ratings, 48% give it a buy, 52% give it a hold, and 0% give it a sell. So Cisco, they engage in the design, manufacturer, and sale of internet protocol-based networking products and services related to communications and information technology industry. And I think they're going to continue to have a strong demand during these times when things are going digital and there's an increase in remote working and people want to use more internet products. Cisco will definitely benefit from that trend. And it pays also a solid dividend yield. So that's why I think it's a good long-term hold for a dividend growth position. Next is JPM, JP Morgan Chase. Currently priced at $111 per share, past year of 1.19%, past five years of 68.21%. Market cap is $338 billion, P ratio is a low 12.56, and dividend yield is 3.24%. Analyst ratings, 46% give it a buy, 50% give it a hold, and 4% give it a sell. So JP Morgan is one of the largest banks in the world. And they provide, let's see, financial and investment banking services. Um, and I think during these times, it's it's tough that um, people may not be using financial services as much. Um, but during good times, people will want to use more of the services. So I think it's a good opportunity to buy and hold for the long term. And they also pay a, a solid dividend yield. So I think it's a good dividend stock. Next is Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. Currently priced at $2,483 per share. Past year of 40.78%. Definitely benefited since end of Mar mid March. Um, past five years, 476%. It's in the trillion dollar market cap valuation alongside Apple and Microsoft. P ratio is 118 and dividend yield is zero, which means they're reinvesting all profits back into growth. 
analyst ratings, 92% give it a buy, 6% give it a hold, and 2% give it a sell. So Amazon has a lot of potential upside. Uh, being in the online retail shopping service space, I would say it has about 50% of the sales, online sales um, in the U.S. So it's a dominant player in the retail space in the U.S. And there's a lot of growth in the Amazon web service space as cloud computing grows. Um, it's definitely a high growth area for cloud computing Amazon web services. So the fact that it has retail, online retail going for it and Amazon Web Service, I think it's a great long-term hold, um, long-term growth stock to hold in the long term. And even though it's priced very high at $2,483 per share, I think it's good to have like get into this position using fractional shares. Um, and even though PE ratio is it's fairly high, but I think it's a very solid growth in the long term and it'll continue to increase in value. Last but not least is AT&T, ticker symbol T, currently $32 per share, past year up 1.68%, past five years down 5.38%. Market cap is $233 billion, P ratio is 16.59, and dividend yield is 6.35%. So it's fairly fairly high, solid uh, dividend yield, even though capital appreciation is not high, but they pay a good dividend yield. So this is uh, one of those steady income um, builders. So if you want a high dividend yield stock, this is one of those to hold. Uh, analyst ratings, 29% give it a buy, 65% give it a hold, and 6% give it a sell. So AT&T engage in the provision of telecom media and technology services so they have the warner media uh, and communications so they have a lot of content that's uh, provides customers through for example hbo hbo max um, also their warner media content and telecom as the need for 5g increases at&t is a is a one of the dominant players in that space as well. So even though capital appreciation is capital appreciation is not big, but their dividend yield is solid. So that's all for this video. As a summary, I'm buying Disney, Cisco, JP Morgan, Amazon, and AT&T in this month. What are your thoughts on these stocks? Comment down below. Remember to use my referral links below. Both of us get $20 for using personal capital or a free stock for using Robinhood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.